What's up, YouTube? Steej here, and as you can see, I am currently inside the meta. <coughs> Sorry, I think I got some of Zuckerberg's scales stuck in my throat. In this video, I'll be covering how you can use Track IR from your headset onto any 2D game that supports Track IR and have it be motion compensated so you can enjoy that sweet, sweet 360 degree yaw while still being able to see where you're driving or flying. Let's hop into it. First up, you're going to need to use Steam VR. I'm not sure if this will work on OpenXR since I don't have it, but I assume that if you can get motion compensation working in OpenXR MC, then you should be able to make this work. Second, you need some way to pin a digital display in front of your head inside your headset. Since I've sold my soul to Daddy Zucky, I've only been able to make this work using Virtual Desktop inside of my Quest Pro, but as long as you keep a display locked in front of your face, you should be good. Third, you need to already have motion compensation enabled and turned on. If you need instructions on how to do this, I uploaded a video previously covering the setup for motion compensation in Steam VR with the Yaw VR tracker, so go check that out and then come back. Lastly, you'll need OpenTrack. I'll include a link to that in the video description. First, let's make sure everything is set up to begin. I've got Game Engine and Joystick Gremlin set up so I can control my yaw. Motion compensation is enabled and it's working. Note that my VR view is janky when I'm not actively in Steam VR, but you'll see the blue dot is moving correctly, so I should be fine. We'll verify this at a later step. Now return to your desktop while leaving Steam VR running in the background. All you need to do is open up OpenTrack. Make sure to select Valve Steam VR as your input. You should be fine with leaving default settings for the rest. Go ahead and hit start. You'll notice the octopus is now moving in conjunction with your head. Double check by moving your chair side to side, and if the numbers stay close to zero as you move the chair without moving your head, then you're all set. You may also want to set shortcuts just in case you experience drift or other anomalies while in game. And that's literally it. Now, go into your track IR capable game and enjoy that sweet, sweet, almost VR like experience. I'll be using Star Citizen to demonstrate. Okay, so this is kind of deviating off script a little bit. Um, but I was running into some issues inside of my game, and so there's something you actually need to do um, to get this working properly if you're having issues with the centering of where you're at being incorrect. So what you need to do is go ahead and with um, Steam VR and everything running, go into local disk C, program files, open VR motion compensation, and run the start desktop mode.bat file. This just makes it easier while in desktop mode to enable and disable motion compensation. So what I had to do, and it's a little bit finicky, I'm not actually even 100% sure how it works, is you need to go into the motion compensation area inside of the game engine, and you need to calibrate while you're outside of Steam VR. So then once you do the calibration and it finishes, you'll need to go back inside of Steam VR. So let me come back in here. And you'll see right now, I'm offset incorrectly. And that's actually okay because the position of my headset is different when I am outside of Steam VR. See, like right now I'm moving my mouse and when I go back into Steam VR. So what you need to do after you run the calibration is you just need to recenter your view. Now, it's okay if this is off to the side, again, because once I leave the, heads the headset view, I'm now centered right here. So if we go into Track IR here and click Start, you'll see that my yaw, pitch, roll, everything is not working currently. And that is just because I do not have motion compensation enabled. So I can open up it here, hit apply. And now if we start, right, I'm starting here in the negative because I need to recenter, I think. What's my recenter? That. Yep. So 
I've recentered myself. So we're here, and as I move around, you'll see we return back mostly to zero. Now, one interesting thing to see is that blue line, it's moving faster than my view actually is. That's just something janky about how this is running, but I think that this tracking should work just fine in game. So I am going to go ahead and launch Star Citizen now. Okay, so we are now inside of Arena Commander. And I am going to just fly out of here just a little bit, like so. And now you'll see I do have my um, track IR working at the moment. And if I start spinning around, you'll notice I am mostly centered. Now, this is okay. Um, there's going to be just a little bit of drift, and that's all right. You'll see if I lean back. If I do some of this, whoa, we've got track IR and everything else working flawlessly. So I'm able to fly around and keep looking as I pass by and into things, and I'm not used to that at all, so I crashed. But that's okay. And again, if you ever... Oh, ah, That's great. So, yep. Anyways, um, this is pretty much how you can get Trek IR working while inside of a game like this. So... So like if I just continue going in this direction, you can look at the uh, nice apartment buildings while you fly past. That was fun, right? And you'll see I'm a little bit off center, so you can just recenter like that with the key binding and open track, and you're back to zero. So, hope this was enlightening. You can now play non VR games with track IR and motion compensation. It's about as close as you're gonna get to get to play Star Citizen in VR right now, and I personally love the experience. If you found this video helpful, please, if you don't mind, hit that like and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below with what you're planning on playing with this technology. Until next time, this is the end of the video.